Here we are in a larger room, the main hall. Cool. This house did not look that big on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Over 20 missing in two years. Written by Alyssa Ashcroft. Why does that name sound really familiar? Wasn't Ashcroft the name of one of the Resident Evil? Uh, like the family that founded, like. Yeah. Sky Hunter. Yeah. That's one of the shadow puzzles. You've got to, like, get these statues to try and rearrange them into. See, one way these games always fucking use, like, the lighting and shadows to creep me out. You see that? The like turning the blades there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. That that's just good lighting design too, man. They they really nail it there. Can't take a shotgun because you already have too many items. Well, let's correct that. Um, <laughs> really? You're having Skyrim issues in Resident Evil. Well, yeah, you always had a bit of an item limitation, didn't you? Yeah, I guess so. Skyrim issues. <laughs> you were over encumbered and now you can't move. <laughs> yeah. Alright, if I go back into this room where the chest was. Um, I'll put the antique coin in there. What about looks things I can create some more medical herb thing. So, uh, I'm gonna put the shotgun shells in there because right now I don't have the shotgun. Although I know where the shotgun is, but if I remember correctly, when you try to grab that shotgun, the door closes on you. Mm. And just so I don't have to go back and fight that um, big asshole again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wasn't there like one of those? Yeah, there it is. Oh man. See, I want to get better at this game so I can do it on like more insane difficulties and stuff because like these games are like built. I don't from... know how it's difficult, isn't it? Just like. It just takes longer to kill them, or what? I mean, like, the puzzles are the same, but, like, I know that a lot... Uh, well, I remember Silent Hill had a way of doing puzzles that made it literally considerably more difficult to do the puzzles. If you chose a harder difficulty mode. Oh, fucking hell, that made me jump. Fucking... Phone. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he's a... You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. Okay, thanks for that information, Zoe. Oh, you need like the three horse heads or whatever. Or dog heads or... <laughs> You know, the usual Resident Evil thing. Ah, a clock pendulum. Now, wasn't there that other place that, um... If I remember back in, back over here... In the, uh, in the living room there is that, like, clock pendulum that needs replacing. Let's try putting that there. I've got the white dog's head, okay. So I've got one of those dog heads now.
Okay. So, one dog head down, two to go. Hey Sam, if you're still in the chat, do you have any idea what the difficult difference is between the difficulties? Yeah. If you do this thing, it closes the... Uh... You gotta get like the uh, the broken shotgun or whatever like you do in the, in the, in the original Resident Evil basically. Yeah. Yeah. This is a picture of Evelyn, May second, twenty fourteen. Has a snake on the door. I think you need like a snake key or something like that. Oh, it's fucking grandma again. My favorite character. Yeah, you love fucking grandma, don't you? Look at this fucking looking at me. Yeah, she's definitely. See, see, you haven't played this head. game. Uh, on Madhouse, all the items are in different places, and you need to find cassette tapes to save. Oh fuck, man! That actually sounds like a pain in the ass. I mean, I guess I, don't, I can't remember where half the items are in this game, so that doesn't sound so bad, but. Um, and I guess cassette tapes to save isn't not the end of the world either, because that's basically like the original Resident Evil with uh, with the ink ribbons. Yeah. Oh man, that was such a pain. <laughs> Maybe it's Daddy's hobby. If Daddy's hobby is wearing a helmet, then I'm a little concerned as to you know what kind of things he's into. It's okay, I know it's American football. I'm, I'm not that dense. There are 33 coins to find. I think I have two of them so far. Like the one I've got on me right now and the one that I dumped in the... Thing. Doesn't Jack show... Oh, fuck. I think Jack shows up here again. If I remember. Either now or later. coin, so I've got three now. Wartime photojournalism, they killed him, creators rights, and Sydney mystery. Hmm. Not much of an easter egg there. Marguerite, move that piece of shit here we caught from the hall into the processing area. Fucking hell. <laughs> Tape called Mia. And the critters have different spawn locations. What well, the uh those are like the more sort of like creepy um molded basic, aren't they? The ones that like climb on the walls and shit. Ooh. Gunpowder. Yeah. yeah, you'll see those later, Kyle. Oh man. Blue dog's head, alright. I was wondering if they were going to do the dogs. I mean, that's, that's totally back in the day. Reports say a storm's are coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the philosophy. Uh, let me try that again. Reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. The old water has finally receded. The house is alright, but the whole old house was badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report it to the parish. I'll go check it out tomorrow. <clears throat> now back into English accent. Oh man, nothing in the rubbish. Oh, trash. I think that old yeah, that old ship, by the way. Kyle, that comes into it a lot later in the game. Like one of the sort of major locations. Yeah. Alright. Ok, 
Okay. Ethan, please watch this. the teeth it just throws me off They're like oh, really bad the what the, the way their teeth and their lips move yeah it just sometimes doesn't like sync up i think i think it's something wrong with the fact that i've got a particle the resolution a little bit too high and the i mean it's a pretty powerful pc but at the end of the day it's a 1080 sorry 1060 graphics yeah. card rather than 1080 or anything so you know it's a, and it's a single graphics card and the whole point of getting a desktop though was so that i can upgrade rather than yeah, mommy. oh Fuck you, creepy voice. Fucking hell. Oh shit, I actually found it a VHS. Man. It's kind of like even when you're like, I don't know, when you're not like you go from these moments where you have like the big fucking guns and like feel like you can defend yourself to moments where you're in a recording and you can't defend yourself anymore yeah that's yeah <laughs> I kind of forgot we were in the recording because it's always you that's, you that's feeling it you know it's like you're you're watching it from this perspective so it's always you and I think that's kind of an interesting take on it like, yeah, like that, and, and, you know, switching characters is kind of a thing too for Resident Evil. So that is yeah. kind of, they kind of keeping that theme. Uh, a lesser game would have like basically had us, um, whoa. Okay, creepy lady. I know you don't know a lot. I know you think I don't know what you want to do with that boy, Ethan. What does she want to do with that boy, Ethan? I'm Ethan. <laughs> What kind of kinky zombie sex does she want to have? I mean, I'm into biting and all that sometimes, but just, you know, not, not to that degree. Torch. Shit. I'll feed you to my babies and fertilize the garden with what was left. 
There's one thing that's always very creepy about this game that just wasn't the same with other Resident Evil. It's a lot of waiting, basically. It's like because it's it's got this more it has an interesting sort of like haunted house sort of like feel to it that like you don't get with the previous Resident Evil games. It's like previous Resident Evil games were more survival. Yeah, it's got some stealth game elements too now. Yeah. It actually just reminds me of like a prettier version of Outlast. I have not played Outlast actually. It's Look, not bad. I did just get Soma, which I heard is very good actually. So. Yeah, I heard that was going to be pretty good too. Uh, if I remember, I've got to rotate this in the right way to match. There we go. The thing is, if you watch these videotapes, you know how to do things later in the game. Whereas if you don't, you have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I like that. That is a cool mechanic. They kind of took that from horror movies too. It's very genius. This does have a bit of a classic horror movie feel to it to a certain extent as well. Oh, for sure, yeah. Fuck here she comes again. How'd she even you, get over there? You. All you have to do is accept her fucking gift. So like follow the lens flare. Make sure it doesn't come to you. Shit! 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 Fuck! 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 This stream is uh we love you. not safe for work. <laughs> It's okay, I swear so much when I play games. It's tradition, you have to. Well, I swear during all my streams, like... Whether it's fucking Resident Evil or... Mario Kart. Actually, I think I swear more during Mario Kart, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah. What have you got, Carl? You've got a, like, um... PS4 right now, no PC. Right? Yeah, I'm building my tower on New Egg, right as we speak. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I fucking love uh, New Egg. Is actually, it's, uh, I was going to build my tower on New Egg, but I decided to just go with CyberPower PC and just have them build it for me because I was too lazy to build the PC. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> They'll do it for you. They'll build it for you. So. Well, New Egg will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, they don't do that in the UK. They, they, I, 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 see, my friend sent me all the parts to build it with in the in the US, and but by the time I finally gathered the money together to build it, it was kind of like a bit too late. And they weren't offering financing yeah. options at the time. I'm paying like sixty five pounds a month for this fucking machine. I think there's like a catch where they don't ship it uh, if you make them build it. You have to go pick it up from the distribution center down here in uh, in Industry City. So. All oh, right. Um, Is that where you yeah, are right so now? No, I'm in Reseda, so I'd have to drive all the way over. But uh, yeah, I'm right next to CSUN. No, 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 no. Um, right now. Well, fuck.
Oh, the screen goes completely black. That's a photo of... It looks like me right... What the fuck? Where do you think you're going? Oh, shit. Oh god, they are dragged away from the camera. And then put on VHS. VHS makes me want to watch like America's funniest home videos. Like, oh yeah, that that, that that definitely felt like America's funniest home fucking videos, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the whole VHS look, man. Just it reminds me of '90s shows. Well, like so, you know the whole remaster thing that we've been doing with the video game. One thing we've been looking in, one thing we were looking into when we were doing the um, there's a shotgun in the other room. Cool. Um, one thing we're looking into was using like a VHS, a bit of a VHS filter on the Double Dragon stuff. Yeah. To give it this kind of like '90s, '80s appeal to it, but like, you, there, there's a certain line between making things look funny, and then if you end up having to watch it for like two whole episodes, or like of like an hour's long episode, it's like okay, it's getting a bit ridiculous now. Um, yeah. Especially if you want the yeah. serious moments to be taken seriously and whatnot. So I think there's like a, a middle ground we're trying to find a little bit there. Uh, shit, that reminds me. I've got to... Um, I've got to do something for Owen, my FX guy. Um, Alexa, add fix the files for Owen to my to-do list. I added fix the files for Owen to your to-do list. <laughs> Better than Jeeves. Yeah. I mean, I, I really just want to be able to rename her Alfred and have it, like, speak like Michael Caine. Call, yeah. call, call, call me Master Wayne. Yes. Yes, Master the Wayne. Michael Caine bot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I, 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 I would like to name it Morgan and have it be like Morgan Freeman, but the problem there is that I basically like have a black man voicing my my robot slave. I wouldn't mind uh, Rick from Rick and Morty. It's like, oh god, and he like talks back to you and you give him a command. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that got renewed for like three seasons or something, like seventy-two episodes? Yeah. Alright, so now I'm upstairs above that bit where, um, where he was chasing me around earlier. Yeah. Chemical fluid again. More handgun ammo. Fucking hell, that's her down there. It's Marguerite down there. Yeah. Never noticed that before. Can you pop her? <laughs> probably okay. not. Probably. Pro I'd rather. I'd rather save the bullets right now. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I can make. I can make some handgun ammo. Yeah, let's make some more handgun ammo so I've got a bit. A bit more to fight with. She is super fucking creepy at the end of the day, that Marguerite chick. Yeah. Kinda like the crazy mother figure. <laughs> yeah.
Remind me again where Rosita is. Uh, what? What, what? Where are you living again? Uh, where am I at? I'm just in San Fernando Valley. Yeah, I, th I thought it was there. For, for some reason, I was thinking it was up in, it was down like near Laguna Beach. And I was thinking, man, Carl's gone up in the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess I mean it's a bit fucking far from like you know anything, but still. Oh god. What happens when I drain this shit? A wooden statue. And an antique coin in the toilet. Well, <laughs> somebody has been literally shilling money. Oh god damn it. Heck of a thing, man. This sure shit beats the hell out of dying. My little girl has given us a gift. As you can see, the family is only part of the gift. Which in a word means you're fucked. Oh, come on. <laughs> At least he's fucking gone down now. Jesus, man. This guy just will not die. Use a bit of the fucking. See, I can reload a bit faster now because, you know, I have two hands. Which, you know, I mean. I try not to be, like, ableist or anything, but, you know, I, I think generally having two hands is better. Uh, that's handsist. Is that handsist? <laughs> yeah, handsist. <laughs> is that handsist the radio? <laughs> oh man, that that was a terrible joke. That was that, that was, was, that that was, was, that was absolutely fucking moment. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe it's rotate. Uh huh. So it's like that. But if I rotate it around that way, like that, yeah, there we go. Sky Hunter. It just hurts my brain. That puzzle. Kind of looks bad. The shadow right now looks kind of badass. Not gonna lie, it looks very James Bond. Yeah. I know you can't <laughs> see it yet because it hasn't appeared on your screen, but. You'll you'll see it. Yeah. You, you you'll see it when I when I'm talking about it, especially when it's, you see it walking towards the thing. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> that gun, man. Jesus. More handgun ammo. In the room with the deer. There's some imagery for that. <laughs> true enough, true enough. Nice well, chem fluid there, but I don't have enough space for it. If I'm not mistaken, slightly through here. And we 
reach the Ew. Um, they look like they all might be victims. Looks like a kid drew it. Vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He's got the twelfth. Unfortunately, the wife is no good, so we'll just get rid of her. Seventh of July, seventh. Three college girls. They're all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. August thirteenth. Homeless man. <laughs> turned in three days. He's the thirteenth. Oh, these are all the people they turned into like the the monsters of the game later. Monsters that we are about to first witness pretty fucking soon. The molded. I'm excited. I think you briefly. Oh see Jesus one Christ! In the demo. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a bit more powerful of a handgun this time, so a bit on the easier side. I'm just generally less afraid of them than I was when I first played this game because you know when you first play a game it's always a bit more terrifying to see those things Yeah. whereas Jack and that lot still scare the fucking shit out of me yeah well dude that gun kills those molded in like 3-2 shots so yeah definitely not as scary as Jack Alright. I can dump off all these coins. Um, I'm just going to shift my ass a bit because it's going dead. <laughs> uh, let's put that tape in there. And I'm going to put the other hand in there because I'm just not using it. need it. Uh, I'm mistaken, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, Courtney, those bastards are looking for me. Maybe this gives you a chance to escape. Escape, you have to find a relief shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the section room underground. Get it, it's the key out of here. Alright, cool, because I've got the other two dog heads. This was always one of my favourite save rooms, because even though you knew there was nothing, or nothing necessarily near you to kill you, it always scared the living shit out of me when there were things sort of around. Yeah. We're safe. Always. <laughs> That's one thing I did like about the original Resident Evil, and probably will like when I eventually do Madhouse on this on this game, because is that you have to think about it before you save, because you, there's a chance you could run out of the. Uh, Ink ribbons or uh, cassettes, as, uh, as Sam said it was earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember saving was a real pain in the old one. <laughs> and then dying was even more of a pain. And so you just like would hold on to your herbs like they were <laughs> your life because I mean, yeah. you wouldn't want to have to go all the way back. <laughs> I remember never playing the game with full health. I always hurt. Yeah, slightly hurt, so you don't, it's like, I don't want to use my herb, or it's like, you, like, I remember, by, like, especially by the end of, like, some of the later games, like Resident Evil 3, you still have that mentality a little bit, so, even if you have, like, ten first aid sprays in your box, 
back there. It's like, I don't want to use this herb in case I might need it later. <laughs> yeah, you just become like an herb hoarder. <laughs> Meanwhile, your your character's like bleeding out. <laughs> help! Help me, for fuck's sake! <laughs> yeah, I'm dying here! Yeah, that's right. Alright, now if I remember, if I go back through here. Through the creepy mold infested area. It looks like this was some kind of monitoring room or something. I know there's a bit of a, a sort of like so later in the game there's kinda of like this uh this saw like sequence. Mm -hmm. And it's uh it's super creepy. Um <laughs> These stimulants, if I remember. If I use it, I can see like where items are for a limited time. Hi, booty kissing girl. Welcome. Hi, booty kissing girl. Welcome to the chat. See, I, I like having you around, Carl, because you tell me when things are going on in the chat, and I'm too absorbed <laughs> in my game. Yeah, man. I can see all this shit shotgun shells down there. Antique coin. Gunpowder. Shotgun shells. I don't remember any of this the first time you ran through the room. <laughs> well, now that I've got like the psycho st the, the the psycho stims activated, I can see everything basically. Um, yeah, I am one with with the game. No. Are there any items the in here that I've mentioned? No. Okay. Huh? Booty Kiss Gal is asking you a question. Have you played this before? I'm near the end myself. Yeah, I've played it through once before. Um, it's my second time playing it through. I haven't played it in about, about a year, though. And I have a bit of a dreadful memory sometimes, so... Um, honestly, pretty much everything is still scaring the crap out of me and jumping out at me, and I'm forgetting everything. I just remember that there are little parts, like... Um, if you're near the end, you must know about, sort of, like, the way the... Sort of, like, sort of Lucas... Saw sequence. I remember that distinctly. Towards the end, that scared the crap out of me. That that. Whoa! Fucking up. Speaking of things jumping out of me. Oh fuck! You just die. Oh reload, reload. Fuck! 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 Whew! 